Hello everyone, so it's Luke 2, and welcome to another mod pack overview, this time on Hyper Hyper 2. A mod pack that simply has obviously a focus on 16.2, along with a sort of mix of things like tech, certain building aspects, certain tweak aspects like a better title screen, and uh, sort of things like fuel, uh, open box elevator, and more. So, yeah. Uh, otherwise though it is pretty much a extend, standard vanilla experience, pretty much. We focus on difficulty and mechanics, game resources and such, still the same as vanilla, exploration, bosses, dimensions, and so on. So take a look, and uh, as you can see there is a really impressive title screen. As you can see here, I don't think there is a multiplayer server, it's just worth checking. And uh, we'll go into a single player world, which I have not generated yet, just because I wanted to show the Title screen. Okay, I take a bit of zooms. No, nope. all right. Okay, so, oops, I should change the image of my size, now I can. Alright, so, we'll cover the content, I guess, first, which is, oops, one second, here we go. So, first up we have charging gadgets, which is just a block that allows you to charge certain power tools. So you've got the fuel slot here, you put your power on the side for how much is stored, and you've got where you put your actual uh, chargeable tool in here. So I think specifically in this pack it'd be something like mining gadgets, but uh, if you did have like something else typically with a mod like this, like say Iron Elytra, where it has like a chargeable booster item, then you can just put in here, put coal in, and it'll charge up for you. Next we have Compressium, which adds in compressed versions of different materials. So for example, if you have a ton of stone, or netherrack, or other types of resources, then you can compress them even further. You've got Cooking for Blockheads, which expands cooking a bit with a few different things like appliances, along with some things like the milk in the jar, a bit of toaster, tool rack, and obviously a bunch of other decoration blocks, like flooring, with tiles. It's also books to get you started. And otherwise there's things like nice unit, preservation chamber, and probably a lot more you can do with mixing food. You've got Curious for pretty much adding in a sort of slot or two on the side, depending on what mods you've got. And uh, you can put things like rings and necklaces and more. Depends on what mods are obviously included here, we'll find out. That utilize it. Um, we've got elevator mod which just adds in elevators so simply we go here and we do do this and go up and down floors otherwise if you right click it you've got a directional option so you can go from side to side or up and down. Typically the mod would just have it where you just go um, up and down but uh, it seems to have expanded since I've last used it so you can go directional you can hide arrows, you can camouflage, so good to know. Um, you've got ender chests, which is pretty much just a chest that's pretty much similar to a vanilla ender chest, except that it's slightly different with the fact that it has three different coloured bands or so here, which you can use coloured frequencies or channels to then have separate ender chests. So you could have an all white one that's doing, say, a um, Tree farm, you have a white, red, and white for a quarry, or this and the other. And you've obviously got, I think, just probably storage in here, or it's for filtering. I haven't used this version of the mod before, so I'm not too sure. 
There is obviously a bag as well for a portable version instead of having to place the block down all the time. And you can obviously bind these to whichever colour you want and then you're good to go. There's obviously a pouch as well, which is just an end, a regular ender chest pouch I think, portably. And there's obviously a tank version as well with ender tanks with a bucket as well as um, for fluids. We've got Engineer's Decor, which adds in a bunch of different blocks, as well as certain other aspects, like a tree cutter, solar panel for power, an upgraded version of the hopper, an electrical furnace, and more. There's a bunch of different types of stuff. It's either treated wood, or concrete, or metal. You've got Essentials, which adds in additional soil. You've got Splitters, you've got an order crafter and a few other things, upgraded hoppers and such, sorting and other capabilities. Um, you've got Ex Nihilo Sequentia, I think, which pretty much is just Ex Nihilo sort of brought forward with a sieve. You've got crooks, you've got a hammer, you've got silkworms that you can get from leaves and cook, you've got certain fluids, a crucible. Um, and so on, as well as a cake to, I assume, get you to the end. As well as obviously a few other things like certain seeds, you've got the porcelain doll, uh, certain pebbles, and certain mesh you can upgrade the sieve with, I'm pretty sure, along with certain chunks for ores, if you break them with the hammer. Um, and going with, I think, the ore, or just um, stone or cobble, then gravel, then sand, and then dust or so. I think. Uh, you've got extra golems, which adds in a golem head, as well as I assume just a bunch of other golems. I'm not too familiar with the mod, but uh, there's a few things there. You've got gravestones, which you can use to create a decoration, or will probably appear when you take damage, and it'll store your items in it, so you can break it to get your stuff back, instead of it being all over the place. You've got iron chests for storage, so you've got additional storage upgrades compared to regular chests, and you've got obviously a transparent and a blast resistant version. You've got iron coal for adding in upgradable coal, so it can either last forever, or it will last probably about as good as blaze rods, for example. And you've got block versions. You've got lantern colours, which adds in additional coloured versions of lanterns. You've got lucky ores for adding in additional ores that I assume maybe drop more XP, or I wouldn't say lucky blockish, but Sort of different, I guess. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the mod. Can only guess. Um, you've got Macaw's doors for adding in additional door options. Roofs or roofs with a bunch of roofing options. So you've got attics. You've got slopes and lowers and otherwise. So a bunch of different options there for building with. Uh, as well as certain awnings and gutters and such, which makes up a fair amount in the pack. You've got mining gadgets, which adds in a mining gadget that you can pretty much just use for pretty much taking out a block or so. Um, obviously it needs to be powered, you can add upgrades as well via a modification table. So you put in, say for example, an efficiency, up fortune, range, magnets, 3x3, three three, light placing, Upgraded battery, freezing for water to ice, or I think you can, I think you can use it for lava to obsidian. Can't remember, um, and so on. So you can just upgrade that if you want. Quite useful. You've got pickle tweaks, which adds in a bunch of different coloured versions of cobblestone and maybe supports a few other mods. Oh wait, no, this is the yeah, I think you can like it with that. Yeah, so this just adds in a bunch of blocks, versions of coal and charcoal apples, an additional sword, and, oh sorry, different tools and swords and other versions of materials, so emerald and flint here, you've got mesh for certain stuff, getting flint it seems, magnets, some goggles, night vision, and so on, as well as mining helmet, adding in the ability to use obviously a hem helmet, and have lighting while on your head, instead of the need to place torches down constantly. Uh, you get security craft for adding in additional things like a camera monitor, a briefcase, and a few other things. It's useful for probably preventing other players from um, accessing stuff in your base. 
and storing things away and such. And obviously a bunch of modules and such. Uh, that's in quite a lot surprisingly. I'm not too familiar with it, but yeah. So you've got reinforced blocks, you've got different ores as well. I assume for reinforcing ores and standing up with a mine. Um, a scanner for retinas, inventory scanning, username logger and more. So quite useful for bases to protect your stuff. You can see a lot of coverage there. We've got stor simple storage network for adding in a sort of bunch of cables and this and the other, um, like a remote upgrades and more to access your chests via a certain network. So you just put in a certain block, you can ask, access stuff by requesting, and you just have to solve the network before, so it has a way of knowing all the connections to other inventories. You've got simply lighting for adding in additional light sources, storage drawers for adding in additional storage options as well, so you're pretty much like a barrel. Um, if you've seen modded battle barrels, you've got obviously the ability to put in something in one stack, another in another, and it'll pretty much just specialize in that. So if I wanted all cobble in one and all wood in the other, I could. You've got one probe for finding out what something is from, as well as obviously helmet versions of certain identification things, I'm pretty sure. You've got the veggie way for adding in additional food, as well as obviously certain tools you can use to interact with things. So you can get paper. Or um, certain things with soybeans and this and the other. And a grinder for flour. And otherwise, you've got Torchmaster, which adds in additional lighting options and trash cans for pretty much removing things from the world. So if you don't want certain items or blocks, fluids, or energy, you've got that. And you've got a mini map here, which I'm not sure which one that is. Otherwise, though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.